Hey guys, this is Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for the Run the Year Yoga Challenge. So if you've been exploring the library of the different um, body focused classes and tried some of them out, I'm really glad that you are here to take on the challenge of a full complete yoga class. So this class is gonna include all of the elements of um, the other classes that you've seen along the way. So we're gonna start with breathing, a full spinal warm up. We're gonna do sun salutations. We're gonna do standing postures, balancing floor postures, deep stretch and Shavasana. So get excited, take on the challenge. I hope you love this class. If you do and you want more complete yoga classes, um, you can check out my YouTube channel, Five Parks Yoga, for hundreds and hundreds of options. <laughs> so go ahead and come to a seated position. We're going to start with our spinal warm up, warming up the neck and the full spine in twists, side bends, and forward folds. So let's just start with some breathing first. So sit up tall, stacking your shoulders over your hips, your head in line with your spine, nice long neck. You can rest your hands face down, face up on your lap. You can rest them in your lap, whatever feels comfortable. Take a nice big shoulder roll, rolling your shoulders up, back and away from your ears. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable and we'll begin to do some deep breathing. So we're gonna start with a cleansing breath. So breathe in through your nose and hold it at the top. When you're ready, let it go through your mouth. Seal your lips. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose. So as you begin to really focus on your breath, can you increase the length and the quality of not just your inhales, but your exhales? So instead of taking a deep breath in and then just letting it go, can you slow down your exhale, lengthen it, pause at the bottom, and then nice, slow, even, breath in, pause at the top, out through your nose, pause at the bottom of your exhale, and of course, go at your own pace. We'll take about three more breaths here. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose and we'll begin to warm up the spine. So take a deep breath in, lengthen through the crown of your head. As you exhale, release ear toward shoulder, chin toward chest and come into either full or half neck rolls. I personally prefer um, half neck rolls because my neck is a little crunchy in the back. So you can either go around in a nice big circle or you can just roll side to side. Again, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. So don't bring your shoulders towards your ears, but bring your ears towards your shoulders. If you're doing full neck rolls, just pause and then switch directions so you get both directions there. Go ahead and complete your last circle if you're on full. And then we'll meet back at center. Nice, tall spine. So be mindful that your shoulders continue to stay stacked over your hips so you're not rounding forward. Inhale, bring both arms up overhead. And then let's take some side bends. So bring your left hand toward your mat, right arm up and over. Keep your sitting bones grounded on the floor and keep your shoulder in line with your hip. Gaze can be up or down, whatever feels good for your neck. Come back up to center and switch sides. Right hand to your mat, left arm reaches up and across, but your sitting bones stay grounded on the floor. So looking like this shape, not this, okay? So you can take it to your level where you can keep your sitting bones grounded. Come back to center, let's take a twist. So bring your right hand to your left knee, 
your left hand out behind you, keep your shoulders stacked over your hips, and then just rotate from the base of your spine through the crown of your head, peek out over your shoulder, and then big breath in, bring both arms up overhead, big breath out, left hand to right knee, right hand out behind, and a little peek out over your shoulder. I'm looking back here at Stanley Lake, very beautiful. Both arms up overhead. And then take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, press your fists down, maybe lift your chin a little bit, gazing up. And then hinging from your hips, come forward, reaching your arms up overhead. And it's okay if they don't come very high or you don't go very deep. Take it to your level, just getting a stretch in your shoulders, your neck, your chest, and your hips and your low back. Come all the way back up. Release your hands, make your way to a tabletop position, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Let's take some cat cows. With your breath, breathe in, drop belly, lift your tailbone, lift the crown of your head, breathe out, round your spine. Look toward your navel center, tuck your chin, round your upper back. Breathe in, cow, Breathe out, cat. Again, and last time, one of each. Breathe in, great warm up for your spine. Breathe out, round. And come back to a neutral tabletop position. We're gonna take um, a modified side plank on both sides. So you're gonna take your right foot out to the right, keep your hand planted, and then reach your left foot back toward the back of your mat, and lift your left arm up. So this is a really nice side stretch, a little arm strengthener as well. Go ahead from here and reach that left arm forward toward the front of your mat. So you're getting a stretch down your entire side. Feels so nice and then release, come back to tabletop. We'll switch sides. So you're gonna bring your left foot out to the edge of your mat, keep your left hand planted, and then stretch your right foot to the back of your mat and reach your right arm up. And then for that nice long stretch, take your right arm forward. Uh, feel that stretch all the way down to your ankle. And release, come back to tabletop position and we're gonna make our way to extended child's pose. So take your knees to the edge of your mat, bring your toes to tuck, hips to heels, walk your arms forward, and release your forehead down on your mat. Take a couple breaths here, in and out through your nose. Just enjoy this nice stretch in your hips, and even if your hips are way up, that's okay. Just kinda of press them back until you feel the stretch. All right, let's take a shoulder stretch. So keep your right arm extended, slide that left arm underneath your right, come onto left shoulder, left ear, and then look to the right. So you're getting a little twist in your neck, and you should feel a nice stretch in the back of your left shoulder. Switch sides. So left arm extends, slide your right arm underneath your left. You can just rest your head heavy on your mat, look to the left. Enjoy that stretch for the shoulder. And reach your right arm forward. All right, and let's come into downward facing dog. So hands back underneath your shoulders, feet in line with knees, tuck your toes. Now lift your hips up and release your heels down toward your mat. Start to pedal your feet. It's kind of a little moment for yourself in this warm up to just feel into your body, feel kind of any places that you're holding tightness or tension, discomfort. And then make movements in your body that feel good. So I like to pedal my legs. I like to shake out my head because my neck can get kind of tight. So that feels really good. You definitely don't want tension in your neck. I like to kind of sway my hips side to side. That is a good side stretch, for me at least. Feels really good. You can bend your knees a lot, press your torso back to your thighs and get a deeper stretch in your shoulders. 
uh, down dog. It's just a great overall body stretch and a strengthener. So if you kind of feel your shoulders getting a little tired, that's normal and good. It means you're building strength. All right, so bring your left foot towards center. Lift your right leg up, 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 up. Now open your hip, bend your leg. Nice stretch for your hip flexor. You can roll your ankle in one direction, roll it in the other direction. Straighten your leg, level your hips. You're just gonna take your right foot and place it between your hands. So even if you need to take 10 steps on the way, that's fine. You can use your hand and drag your foot or you can just place it. Lower your back knee down toward the floor. We're gonna take a posture called crescent lunge or yeah, crescent lunge post posture. So lift your arms up overhead, <laughs> crescent moon. Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought there. So lift your arms, we'll do crescent lunge later. Up overhead, rotate your pinky fingers in, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. You can have those back toes tucked or flat. Just getting a nice stretch in this left hip flexor. Nice stretch in both hips. Nice opening to the front side of your body. And release your hands down towards your mat. Tuck your toes under if they're not. Lift your knee up off the floor and begin to straighten through your front leg. And this is called extended pyramid pose posture. So your heel stays off the floor. It's just pressing in that direction. And hopefully now you're feeling a nice stretch in the back of your right hamstring. So you can just let your head come down toward your knee. If it doesn't reach, that's fine. No worries. And then we're gonna make our way all the way back to that low lunge position. So right knee should be stacked over your right ankle. You can keep your left hand on the floor here and then just sweep that right arm up. We're not gonna be here for long. Just a little twist, breathe in and breathe out, release your hand down towards your mat. You're gonna take a big step. Left foot meets right. Legs have a generous bend in them. Rest your torso on your legs. Take opposite hand toward opposite elbow and hang here. This is called ragdoll pose. So you should just be really floppy in your upper body and just let gravity do its work, kind of giving your neck a little break, your upper back, elongating your spine. So this posture is focused on your spinal cord versus your legs. So bend your legs as much as you need. If you like to, you can sway side to side. I sometimes think that feels good. And just enjoy your dangle. And then go ahead and release your hands down toward your mat. Heel toe your feet to touch. And then you're gonna roll up to standing. So take it slow, this way you won't get a head rush. Nice and slow, your arms are like heavy weights. Your head is the last thing to arrive. Big shoulder roll. So now you've arrived at standing, coming into mountain pose. So big shoulder roll, palms face out. Spread those toes nice and wide so you can see mat between each toe. Spread your fingers nice and wide, palms face forward. Triceps are nice and active. On your next breath in, bring both arms up overhead. You're going to encircle, I'm gonna face away from you so you can see, you're gonna encircle your left wrist with your right hand. Just draw your fingers up and then side bend to the right. Come back to center, switch it out, encircle left, right wrist with left hand and then side bend to the left. So you can kind of get this extra little stretch here. And then back to center and now you're going to cactus your arms. Nice opening for your chest, draw your elbows down, lift your gaze up. Inhale, tall mountain, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips, come all the way down. So pause here for a second. This is now forward fold, and this is a stretch for the, your legs versus your spine. So it's fine if your legs aren't straight, but work in that direction. So you feel a stretch to the back of both legs. And then inhale, Flat back, this is called monkey pose. Stretch your spine, strengthen your spine, and then come back to forward fold. 
Place your hands on your mat and step back to high plank position. Now a modification for high plank position, if this is feeling like too much pressure on any of your joints, etc., take your knees to the floor, but keep your back flat, keep your neck long, hold it for one more breath. This is a full body strengthener, high plank pose. Take one more breath in. As you breathe out, lower down onto your mat. You're gonna bring your elbows back and in versus out. So back and in by your ribs, lower down. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor and let's take Cobra Pose. So breathe in, lift your chest up off the floor, elbows back, maybe take your hands up off the mat. Spine strengthener here. It's okay if you have them there for support either way. And then release. With your hands, right where they are. Tuck your toes under. You can leave your knees on the floor if you need to, or press up in one long line to high plank. Press back down dog. Here we are. Back to my favorite, but it could be your least favorite posture. <laughs> we'll be here a lot today though. So take another breath. Find movement or stillness. We're gonna take those couple postures on the other side. So this time, bring your right foot to center, lift your left leg up, up, straight up, straight up. Keep your hips level. Now open that hip, bend your leg, circle your ankle in one direction, circle your ankle in the other direction. Now level your hips again, straighten your leg and place your left foot between your hands. However you need to do it to get there. Arrive in low lunge with your left knee over your left ankle. So release your back knee to the floor, crescent moon pose. Lift your arms up overhead. We'll just hold it here for a couple breaths. So again, toes either tucked or flat. Sink into your hips, but also keep the integrity of the posture by drawing your inner thighs together, even though they're not touching, so you have strength here. You're not just flopping in, okay? Stretch and strength at the same time. The magic and beauty of yoga. Release your hands down to the earth. Tuck your toes, lift your knee, straighten your front leg, extended pyramid posture. Release your head toward your knee shin. Look back at your back toes. Leg can be as bent as needed, as long as you feel the stretch in your left hamstring. It's gonna look different for everybody. Bend your left leg again, come back to low lunge, left knee over left ankle. Keep your right hand on the floor, and just for a breath, breathe in so you have a nice little twist, peek up at that hand, breathe out, release. Big step forward, right foot meets left, we're gonna come right into monkey pose. So breathe in, halfway lift, flat back. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, tall mountain. Let's do a couple of rounds of sun salutations. We'll keep them simple, just breath to movement. Breathe out, cactus. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, hinging from your hips. Arms either sweep to the side or through heart center. Forward fold. Breathe in, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step back, high plank pose. You can come to your belly for cobra or chaturanga. If you have watched my sun salutations video, I explain chaturanga, so if you need to check that out and wanna learn it, feel free. It's a half yoga push up, halfway down. Upward facing dog or cobra, back to downward facing dog. One breath in, and out. Look toward your hands, step, walk, float, whatever feels good to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Tall mountain, inhale. Cactus your arms, exhale. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga or to your belly. Inhale, upward facing dog. Big breath out, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sun salutations are meant to warm your body, connect your breath to your movements, get your heartbeat going. So look forward. Come to the front of your mat on an inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Tall mountain inhale. Cactus, exhale. Tall mountain. Forward fold. Monkey. Forward fold. High plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And out. Last time. Look forward. Come to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Big breath in. Rise up tall mountain. Cactus your arms. Tall mountain. Exhale forward fold. Monkey. Fold. High plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Those sun salutations take a couple breaths here. Really target your entire body. Strengthening, strength, stretching. Really working with your breath. All right, so we're gonna do a couple more standing postures and then we'll take a little break. So lift your right leg up, and just like we did before, plant your foot between your hands. This time we're doing crescent lunge for real, okay? So lift your arms up. See the difference here is your knee isn't on the floor. So this is more of a strength building posture. Keep your hips square to the front of your mat. And again, imagine that your inner thighs are touching, even though they're not, and squeeze them together. And then make sure your shoulders are over your hips, wrists over your shoulders. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, warrior two, plant your heel. Open your shoulders and hips to the side now, and then bring your arms parallel to the ground. You're gazing out across your front fingertips. Warrior two. Stretch back, reverse warrior. Just slide that left hand down your back leg. Reach up and back. And then bring your hands down to the earth. Step back, high plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra, your choice. Downward dog. One breath, inhale. Exhale. Do those poses on the other side. Lift your left leg up. Place your foot between your hands. Left knee over left ankle. And then lift both hands up off the floor. Crescent lunge. Back heels lifted up off the floor. Left knee is over left ankle. Shoulders over hips. Wrists over shoulders. Slight spiral of your pinky fingers in to broaden your shoulders. Again, squeeze those inner thighs together as if they were touching. Take a breath in. Warrior two on your breath out. Plant your heel. Open your shoulders and your hips to the side. And then bring your arms parallel to the floor. Make sure that left knee stays over your left ankle. And then gaze across your left fingertips. Just feel the strength in this pose. The focus in your gaze. Notice what your legs are doing. So nice, tight, active. And then let's stretch back, reverse warrior. 
Right hand slides down that right leg. Left arm up and back. Hands to the earth. High plank, step back. Chaturanga or low plank. Lower down. Upward dog or cobra. Down dog. So why don't you come down for a quick little rest? So child's pose where we were at the beginning of class. Just take a couple breaths here. And just really take a moment to become aware of what's happening in your body. How do you feel now? Can you keep your focus in the present moment and on your breath? Let's meet back in downward facing dog and we'll do some more standing postures. Kind of our strength building part of our class. So you should be feeling warm and you should feel like you're working pretty hard. That's a good thing. We'll get lots of opportunities for other things in just a little bit. So moving on, we're gonna add on to those couple of postures. So take your right leg high, step it between your hands, low lunge. Crescent lunge, lift your arms up. We were just here. Right to warrior two. Let's come into five pointed star posture. So take your toes out to an angle, heels in, lift your arms up, palms face out. So nice, strong, strong legs, strong arms, and then make your way to a squat. So hands to your heart, sink down. Make sure that your knees are tracking toward your pinky toes. You're strengthening your glutes here and your quads as well. Shoulders over your hips. One more exhale. Lift your arms up, five pointed star. Take your heels behind your toes, hinge from your hips. Standing straddle splits come forward. Nice big stretch for your hamstrings. And we're gonna take this into a twist. So come up to a halfway lift as if you were doing monkey. Keep your right hand on the floor, keep your hips level. Lift your left arm up, one breath in. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Inhale, right arm up, try to keep your hips level. Exhale, right arm down. Return to five-pointed star. So your toes will come back out to an angle, arms straight up, and then make your way back into warrior two. So you're facing the front of your mat, sink down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward dog and downward dog. Now, if you wanna skip those little yoga push-ups, feel free just to meet back and downward facing dog. Okay, it's your practice, whatever's feeling good. If you have like a ton of energy and wanna take those push-ups, great. But if you're like, no, I think I'll just take an extra breath and down dog, that's great too. So let's do those postures on the other side. So we're adding on now from our crescent lunge warrior. So lift your left leg up, step left foot between your hands. One breath in, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat. We're not even gonna hold it this time. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, standing straddle split. So heels behind toes, hinge from your hips, come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Now this time we're gonna take a little variation on down dog, it's called wide-legged down dog. So you're gonna walk your hands forward and in line with one another and then press back. This is a nice big stretch for your shoulders. I love this one, hopefully you do too. Now walk your hands back so they're underneath your shoulders. Toes point out, big breath in, five point and start, come all the way back up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior, low lunge, high plank, 
chaturanga upward dog down dog meet you back in down dog all right you guys now we're going to add on for our standing series some balancing postures so have fun with these play around they're really really good for your body um you know sometimes your balance can be off one day and on the other so just be kind to yourself all right so we'll be using those postures we just did as our foundation and we'll be balancing as well so lift your right leg up step forward low lunge crescent lunge airplane lunge so this time you're gonna whoo i just lost my balance you're gonna hinge forward reach back real good engagement of your triceps here palms face down inhale crescent lunge exhale this time you're going to take flight so step onto your right foot sweep your arms back and lift your left leg up off the floor airplane pose breathe in breathe out just set that foot down so you're back in airplane lunge breathe in crescent warrior two reverse warrior now we're going to balance again this pose is called half moon pose you're going to stand on your right foot lift your left leg up off the floor but notice this time your hips are open to the side breathe in now as you breathe out you're going to land your foot in prayer squat okay so we've already been here before you're going to step down hands to your heart voila breathe in five point of star breathe out warrior two now look toward the front of your mat here we are again reverse warrior low lunge okay now listen to the change standing splits this is a big leg strengthener for your right leg so step onto your right foot lift your left leg up off the floor look back toward the back of your mat continuing on with a couple balance postures hang in there so you're going to bring your left leg through stand onto your right leg take hold of your left knee hands interlace around your left leg draw that left knee up shoulders down okay one more challenge here we're going to take this into a twist so just relax the grip on your knee take your right hand to your left knee twist from the base of your spine left arm reaches back peek back oh yeah see i'm working my ankle whoa <laughs> and my balance you fall out no big deal come back to it okay so unwind your twist lift your arms up and you're going to take a big step back low lunge so float to your leg this is a challenge for your strength and your balance your coordination how slow can you go step it back step back high plank meet me in down dog chaturanga or not your choice couple breaths here if you'd prefer a child's pose here instead of down dog for your little recovery feel free this part is supposed to be challenging have fun all right so let's do that balancing on the other side same sequence other side lift your left leg up low lunge crescent lunge plant your heel open up warrior two. Ooh, no take that back come back to crescent lunge let's take airplane lunge sweep your arms back hinge forward engage those triceps shoulders away from ears crescent lunge this time take flight airplane pose step onto your left leg reach your arms back right leg floats off your mat maybe foot's in line with your hip maybe it's just barely off your mat that's fine too step back to airplane lunge how lightly can you land control coordination strength balance crescent lunge now let's take our warrior two reverse warrior in preparation for half moon pose so another balance on our left leg this time with open hips take your hand to the floor or a block or a shin whatever you have stack your hips right arm up left leg 
working in the direction of heel in line with hip and hip, right hip stacked over left hip. All right, are you ready? Can you float to prayer squat? Light, light, light. Land. Prayer squat. Reach your arms up. Five pointed star. Warrior two. Face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. Low lunge. Here's where we switch it up. A couple more balance postures. Take all of your weight onto your left foot. Standing splits. So in standing splits, it doesn't really look like splits. I rarely see anyone who look like splits, but mine certainly don't. Because your hips are level. So I could lift my leg higher if I open my hips. But instead, try and keep your hips level. Use the strength in your hamstring and your glute to lift your leg a little bit higher. Okay, maybe without touching down, you bring your right leg through. <laughs> I touched down, oh well. Grab onto your right leg. Hug your knee in. Stand up straight. Ooh, I'm having a harder time balancing on my left side today. So again, that's not uncommon. One side might be feeling a little stronger or more balanced than the other. You just gotta work with whatever your body is presenting to you today. Don't fight it. Bring that knee back in line with your hip. Take your left hand to your right knee. Twist from the base of your spine. Reach your right arm back, maybe peek back. Come back to standing staff or just reach your arms up. Now you're gonna float, float that foot back. Low lunge, float it, float it, float it. All right, let's meet back in down dog. Chaturanga, up dog, cobra, whatever you want, or just down dog. All right, everyone. We're gonna take one more balancing posture. The best of all the balancing postures. Walk toward the front of your mat and just rise up to tall mountain. I'm gonna go ahead and face you. We're gonna take tree pose. So stand on your left foot, right toes either balance here on the floor by your ankle, your calf or your inner thigh. Avoid your knee. You can see how damaging this could be pressing there, okay? So higher or lower, create a strong foundation in your standing foot by spreading your toes wide. Just kind of visualize that you have tree roots whoo, growing down into the ground. You got a strong, solid foundation and then you're lifting and lifting, okay? Either hands at heart or hands up. And instead of gazing at me, gaze at something that's not moving because I am moving. <laughs> so gaze at the floor, the ground, find a spot. I'm gonna do the same so I can balance. <laughs> so hold here just for a couple breaths. Good, release. Give it a little shake, wiggle. Let that side go. We're gonna do the other side. Could be very different. So now stand on your right foot, left foot, ankle, calf, inner thigh, avoid the knee. This time I'm not even gonna look at you at all. So I'm looking at the ground. I found this little spot to gaze at. This is called a drishti in yoga. So you take your gaze, you focus it, you keep it steady. Choose your arm variation, whatever works for you. You're gonna be pushing that foot into your leg and you push your leg into your foot so it's not just one-sided. And let's just hold it here.
release. If you could practice that pose every day, I don't know, I'd, I'd be a happier person. <laughs> Tree is the best. We're gonna take one last sun salutation to close our standing practice. If you're just totally done, just sit down, okay? Inhale, tall mountain. Forward fold. Monkey. Forward fold. High plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Come to a seat if you're not already there. You did it. You made it through your standing practice. Um, and we've got more to go, but this is, this is the good stuff. You're all warm, you're all stretched out, you're all focused. Now we get to do deep stretches on the floor. We're gonna do just a tiny bit of core first. I just think core is fundamental um, to a yoga practice in an effort to improve your yoga practice because your core is involved in everything. All right, so let's just take boat pose. Bring your feet out in front of you, lift your heels up off the floor, lift your chest. Reach your arms forward if you want. Okay, so you've got options here. Hands behind your legs, arms forward, legs bent, legs straight. I'm gonna bend my legs today. Chin away from chest. Feel your core active and working. All right, so we're gonna take some seated stretches. We're gonna start first with, um, I think for you runners and walkers, one of the most important postures that you could keep in your day-to-day -day life, if you can, it's called hero pose in yoga. So come onto your shins, separate your feet, knees come to touch, sit your hips between your heels. Now, if you saw my other video that includes this posture, I mentioned that if you have really tight knees and quads, which would not be an uncommon thing for you guys, you can always place some blocks or a book and um, elevate yourself, okay? I actually do have a pretty, a pretty tight knee, but I've worked you know, this yoga posture for forever, for a long, long time, and it has actually improved the health of my knees. So if you're like, this is actually fine, I want more. You're welcome. It's called reclined hero pose. You're welcome to come back onto your forearms or all the way down onto your back. I'm feeling a little, a little tight today, so I'm just gonna stay upright. Now, wherever you are, try to bring your knees to touch. If they already are, squeeze your knees together because you really want active inner thighs in this posture. So it's, again, quite a stretch, but it is also strengthening too. In all of these seated poses, you're never just hanging out. You don't want to just like, I mean, I can do that, but it's really not doing me much good. So keep the integrity and keep the strength in each posture. Okay, now come, come up if you're reclined and come forward. So this is where the magic happens. This is why I love this posture because this feels amazing. Come forward, feel all that blood rushing back into your legs, knees, and then just stretch your legs back. Stretch, press your heels back. All right. Cross over your ankles, come to seated. We're going to take a, a seated twist here. So bring your left knee so it points toward the front of your mat, right foot up and over. If you've tried my twist class, this one will be familiar to you. This is called half Lord of the Fishes posture. So keep your sitting bones grounded and your shoulders over your hips the entire time and we'll twist from this position. So lift your left arm up and twist towards your right. Now you can hook your elbow to your knee. 
You can take your hand to the floor. You can use that right hand as kind of a little kickstand. But most importantly, your shoulders are over your hips and you're sitting upright. So this is not the posture. This is not doing you any good. Maybe it's doing you a little good, but it's really not the way the posture is supposed to be. So integrity in your spine, a lift, a twist, a peak. Alrighty, come back to center. And from this position, we're gonna take a posture called heron pose, H-E-R-O-N, heron. So bring your right foot out in front of you, heel to the floor, interlace your hands around your, the bottom of your foot, lift your foot up off the floor, keep that nice tall spine. You can stay here if you're feeling tight in your hamstrings, if you want more of a stretch in this position, you can straighten your leg. So this is a stretch, a little bit of a core strengthener and a little bit of a balance posture. And let's take it into revolved heron. So take your right hand underneath your right ankle. Take your left hand and um, thumb face down to the outside of your right foot. So it's across your foot. And then reach your right arm back and look towards your back thumb. So if you're sitting upright and you're in this nice twist, can you feel, can you notice your core muscles working, stretching and twisting. So keep them tight. And then come back to center. You're gonna take your left foot, place your left sole of your foot to your right inner thigh. So right foot, right leg comes straight out in front of you. Lift your arms up. And then you're gonna hinge forward from your hips to a forward fold over your right leg. So it might just be this deep it might be a little bit further, but it's not this. It's this, even if it's just here. Okay, you're hinging from your hips. And release. All right, let's do it on the other side. Just like in our standing practice, we wanna practice both sides. I like to do kind of a sequ sequence of postures and then switch it up. So take your right knee, face it toward the front of your mat. This is half Lord of the Fishes again. Left foot comes up and over, stamps to the floor, and then your sitting bones come to the floor. Okay, so again, it's not this, it's this. Even if it means this for you today. Tall spine twisting from the base of your spine up through the crown of your head, keeping your shoulders over your hips. So you can hold on to your knee with your elbows, it's just all gonna depend on the depth of your twist. And wherever you are is great. Elbow to the outside of your knee, maybe hand to the floor or your other knee. Left hand is your little kickstand. And then gaze out over your left shoulder. I like filming in our little public park here. There's a lot going on <laughs> in my little neighborhood. Lots of action, lots of noises. Okay, release. And let's take this into heron pose. So bring your left foot out in front. Interlace your hands underneath your foot. Take your foot up off the floor. Stay here, 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 here. Wherever you are is great. As long as you're balanced, your sitting bones are grounded, your arms are active, your chest is lifted, and you feel a stretch in your hamstring. All right, let's revolve our heron. Revolved heron pose. Left hand holds onto your leg. Take that right hand, flip it. Take it to the outside of your left foot. And then again, shoulders over hips, twist, maybe look. Can you feel your core working? Untwist, 
bring that right foot, sole of the foot to your left inner thigh and your left leg is straight out in front of you. Reach your arms up, hinge from your hips, forward fold. So even if it's just here, it's not here. And release. So let's take a couple of spine strengtheners and then we'll make our way to our back as we close up our practice. All right, so come onto your stomach. If you did my spine strengthening class, these will all be familiar. We will not be doing long holds, okay? We're just gonna um, get into the spine a little bit. Very important. Come down onto your belly. We're gonna do three rolling cobras. So we've already been in cobra today. Hands underneath your shoulders. This is gonna be movement. So inhale, peel up. Exhale, release. And again. Take your feet to the edge of your mat. Take your arms to capital T, palms face down, and tent your fingers here. As you breathe in, lift everything up off the floor. Full spine strengthener. Try to get your hands to the height of the top of your head. Keep your neck long. So in any of these spine strengtheners, you're not throwing your head back. Imagine that there's a little eyeball on your neck. You wanna keep your eye open. That's true for all postures. And release. One last one, this is gonna be our back bend for our class. This is called floor bow. Take both hands and reach them around for the outside edges of both feet. As you kick your feet into your hands, peel your chest up off the floor. And you have the option also, kicking a little harder and lifting your legs up off the floor. So you have a nice C curve in your spine. This is also a strengthening posture for your legs. So feel the kick. Let the kick drive the back bend. Release. Press back to child's pose, just kind of a counter pose for those back bends. And then make your way onto your back. This is a good sign. This means you're getting toward the end. Full, full yoga class. We kind of touched on, on almost a little bit of everything. Okay, so make your way down onto your back. The first posture we're gonna do on our back is an inversion. If you saw my inversions class, you'll be familiar with this one. It's called shoulder stand. So if you're not familiar with it, Please don't do it and watch me at the same time because your gaze needs to be at the ceiling for the safety and health of your neck. So if you need to watch me first and then practice it, do that, but don't do it at the same time, all right? If you're familiar with shoulder stand, let's just go for it. So draw your knees in, take your hands to your low back, press your feet up, straight up, feet, ankles over hips, gaze neutral. So this posture, all inversion postures are just awesome because it reverses the flow of blood in your body. So all that blood and fluid in your feet and legs, your feet are getting a little break here. It's a great posture. If you want to add the hamstring stretch to it, it's called plow pose. You can just take your feet behind your head. You don't have to though. I like it because I mostly feel it in my low back because my back is tighter than my hamstrings, but you might feel it in a different part of your body. Keep your hands on your low back if your feet are not touching the floor. Very important. And then release. So you just kind of roll down. Okay, 
Okay, let's take one more gentle back bend called bridge pose. Feet flat to the floor, hands alongside your body, palms face down, fingers spread wide. Now press into your feet and lift your hips up off the floor. Just a nice opener for the front of your body, your core, your chest, your hip flexors, your thighs, but also a strengthener for the backside of your body, your hamstrings, your glutes, your back. I like it when, you know, opposing things are happening in your body and it's good overall, stretching, strengthening. Release. All right, we're gonna take a gentle supine or reclined twist. We did one seated twist and now we're gonna do one twist on our back. So it's a little more gentle and relaxing. So gentle, pull into your knees, it doesn't have to be tight. And just take your knees to the left and gaze to the right. Now you can have hand resting on your thigh, you can have cactus arms, you can have T arms, whatever feels good. One more breath here. Come back to center. Same thing on the other side. So now bring your knees to the right, gaze to the left. And choose the arm position that feels good to you. Come back to center. Uh, happy baby pose. Hold on to your thighs, your calves, outer, inner ed edges, or toes. And then just rock side to side. This is a good little massage for your spine. A great opener for your hips, inner thighs. One more breath here. And bring your knees in gentle squeeze here we made it to the best posture in yoga Shavasana so get yourself comfortable move around Let your feet come to the edges of your mat or again whatever is comfortable arms rest alongside your body palms face up kind of just tuck those shoulder blades underneath you nice long neck wiggle move Shake it out, let it go so that you can find a moment of stillness here. So get comfortable enough that you can lay in stillness. And let's take a breath together. Breathe in through your nose, hold it at the top. When you're ready, let it go through your mouth. Same way we started our class, we're ending it. And now you don't have to Pay attention to your breath. Just breathe naturally. Take a moment here to take a little body scan. So starting with your toes. And as you move your way mentally up your body, if there's any places that you're holding on to tension, just try and bring your attention there. Relax and release. Not always an easy thing to do. Just notice your whole body and feel the weight of your body being supported by the earth. Just let everything go. Can you just be here in this moment Enjoying the sensations in your body.
I invite you, if you have the time and if you are feeling amazing and relaxed, stay here. Otherwise, I'm just going to close our class. When you are ready to move, you can wiggle fingers and toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Stretch your arms up overhead. Roll onto your side. Just kind of want to come out of Shavasana slowly, especially if you take a, a bit of a longer one. Take a moment before you sit up in a moment of gratitude for your amazing body, the body that carries you through your walking, running, that carried you through your yoga practice today, that's able to do all of the things that you needed to do throughout the day. Just got to take care of that amazing body and give it a little love. your way up to seated. Thank you so much for rising up to the challenge today of a full yoga class. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it's something that you just continue to work toward and take little pieces of. Um, but I hope to see you on the mat again. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.